Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sculpting my dog Enzo as a Tim Burton character. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Anyway, this is my second Frenchie. My first one is actually Lucy. She's over here. Lucy, come here. This is Lucy. <laughs> There's dog hair everywhere. Leave a comment below if you want me to sculpt her too. And then I think Lucy's three and I think Enzo's two. Yeah, I think she's gonna be four in December. But yeah, this is Lucy and that's Enzo. All right, so yeah, I've been told a million times by a million people that I should sculpt my dogs and I'm finally doing it with this sort of little twist. We're gonna make Enzo in that classic Tim Burton style and I'm really excited for you to see how he turns out. And then don't forget about the season two mutant merch that is available for a limited time. It is up in my merch shop right now. It is available through the link in the description box below. It features all the mutants from season two and it's only gonna be available for a little bit longer. So grab yours if you want one. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, a zip up hoodie, mugs, tank tops, and more. So yeah. Check it out, get it before it's gone because it's never coming back. And now, without further ado, if you want to see me sculpt my dog, then let's get started. I'm covered in dog hair. All right, let's get started. This guy does not need a wooden base. He's gonna be standing on all four legs. So we're going to start making his armature with this aluminum wire and just sort of get his skeleton figured out. Dog skeletons, for me at least, are a little tricky, so I wanna take my time on this part and make sure that I get the anatomy correct before I start adding my clay. So let's go ahead and get started. And then of course, as always, all of the materials and tools that I use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you wanna purchase anything. I'm just trying to figure out the scale that I want him at. I want him kind of big, but not too big. Right now I'm gonna go ahead, this looks okay for one side of him. I'm gonna go ahead and mirror this for the other side now. All right now let's go ahead and connect the two sides with some smaller wire. Now I am gonna make him a little bulkier than he really is because this is a cartoon. It's an exaggerated version of him. So just keep that in mind while I'm doing it. <laughs> We're gonna start bulking him out with some Super Sculpey Ultralight and of course some Bacon Bond or now that it, now it's called Oven Bake Clay Adhesive. So I'm going to brush this onto my wire before I start adding the ultralight. Actually what I'm gonna do is we're not gonna start with the ultralight. We're gonna put some foil under there just so I don't waste Ultralight, I guess there's a little bit of an ultralight shortage right now. So we're gonna bulk out the, the majority of it with the foil and then we're gonna put a layer of ultralight over that. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and add some ultralight now.
me again. Don't forget to check out the brand new season two merch that is available right now for a limited time only. You can grab yours at the link below. It is available on mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, and more. And it's got all your favorite mutants from season two. So check it out before it's gone. Now back to the video. All right, this looks about right. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven and then we'll come back and add some clay. Be right back. All right, now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to cover him in clay. For this project, I will be using Super Sculpey Medium instead of Original. Let's switch it up and try this stuff again. I love the Medium blend. All right, now that we've got that body covered in clay, I kind of detailed the legs a little bit more up here. He looks pretty good. Of course, a stylized version of my dog, not an exact representation um, because this is, again, in the style of Tim Burton. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead now and start working on his head. I'm going to bulk that out with aluminum foil and then cover that in clay as well. I wanna try to get the shape right and then I'll worry about the details later. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, now we're gonna start on the facial features here. I think I wanna do the bottom jaw first and then we'll add like the big jowls and then his like little smushed in nose and then do the eyes. That snout's coming up a little too high. So just gonna take some of that clay off and re-blend it. And the shorter one already looks better, so let's just blend all this out. All right, now before we continue making Enzo, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're just getting started or you're an established brand, the Squarespace commerce platform supports the way you do business. Whether you're looking to sell products directly or even bill for your services, they've got you covered. Personally, I love Squarespace for their portfolios and galleries. The portfolios are so professional and so beautifully designed that I know they're gonna show my work in its best light. And I really love the customizable galleries that I can even password protect for clients. One of my favorite Squarespace features is the ability for me to sync all of my social media content to my home page or really any page of my website for that matter. So if all of this sounds good to you and you're ready to start your own website, then head on over to squarespace.com, start your free trial, and then when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your first website or domain. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming.
All right, now that his face is at a good point, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt his huge ears. All right, he's looking pretty good. I like the way that he looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to smooth him out, maybe add you know, a little more muscle structure, and then of course, give him his little paws, and then I think we'll finish him off with a fur texture. So let's go ahead and get him done. Right now that we've got all our shapes figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a nice fur texture all over and then we'll be ready to bake. So let's get started, this is gonna take a second. <laughs> All right, he's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the oven and I'll be right back. All right, now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. Of course, all the paints that I'm using in this video are folk art brand matte acrylics. All right, now this is gonna be a little tricky because his color scheme is not very straightforward. <laughs> he's got a lot of little, you know, nuances in his coloring and I feel like if I don't make them as close to this as possible it's just gonna look like a tan dog with like dirt on his face <laughs> or something so I really I really have to be careful with the darks and the lights and let's just start and see what happens again this is a stylized depiction of him not a realistic one so I do have a little bit of wiggle room but I still want it to resemble him so without further ado let's get started I think I'm gonna start by painting him that like grayish tan color all over and then we'll go in with the darker colors after that so let's just get a nice base coat on him and go from there
And he's done! My sculpture of my dog Enzo, sculpted as a Tim Burton character, is complete. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. how it turned out. I think he looks really cute. It looks just like him if he was a Tim Burton character. I mean, come on, look at that. So yeah, let me know if you think I should sculpt my other dog Lucy as a Tim Burton character and then of course what you want to see me make next. And then as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ace of Clay and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.